Hello everyone. I would like to thank you for checking out these tutorials. Uh, these tutorials is for working with the Raspberry Pi with Ruby. In pure Ruby. We're not going to focus on Ruby on Rails. We're not going to get into any JRuby. It's just, just going to be pure Ruby. We'll probably play around with Ruby TK for a little bit doing uh, graphic programs in Raspbian, but other than that, it's just going to be pure Ruby. Uh, this is for people who don't really have a lot of knowledge for Ruby, or with any programming language, and also geared for those who are new to Linux with the Raspberry Pi, so those who don't understand bash commands and Linux and command line we're going to be going over that as well and how we can use Ruby to work with the bash command line as well as using the Ruby shell over the bash shell and before we get in this is the book that I have I got it a few years back actually it was a birthday present for my dad when I was first getting into Ruby real heavy I was wanting to start to learn it. This book right here, is the one that I have, covers Ruby version 1.9.2, I believe. I know it's version Ruby 1.9. They do have an updated version for the version that we will be using, which is 2.3. If you're really wanting to get into coding, and if you enjoy this language, I highly suggest that you pick up this book because it will give you everything that you need to get you started, get you get your feet in the ground, get get grounded in the actual language itself. Here's a book that I don't have. I do have the pocket reference for the PHP, which comes in real handy when I'm working with that. But I also suggest picking up the pocket reference book for Ruby. So what what is Ruby? Ruby is a object oriented programming language. Well what does that mean? Well everything that we write in Ruby is an object. For instance, I'm working on a computer. A computer is an object. A mouse that controls the pointer is an object. A cup that I'm drinking some soda out of is an object. The light, everything around us, we interact with objects. So what an object-oriented programming language like Ruby and Python and a couple of the others do is it makes it easier for the person to program, to write programs and do coding that's more user friendly to us rather than trying to sit here and do code specifically for the computer to understand. Now why Ruby? Well, Ruby's just awesome. It is my personal all-time favorite out of all of the languages that I've used from HTML, CSS, PHP, uh, Visual Basic, I've done a little bit of JavaScript, not too much, so I'm not really inclined with that, but of all the programming languages I have used, Ruby is by far is the best. Not only can you use Ruby by itself, but Ruby can also be used with Java, uh, such as the JRuby implementation. It can also be used with C and C++. It can be used with Visual Basic, it can be used with GNOME. I uh, don't know if there's a implementation for Mate yet, but I know there is a GNOME and TK and TCL. It, it, you can work with PHP, you can generate and actually create a script to generate HTML pages that you can put on to a server or use Ruby to generate a PHP script to work on a server. Or you can just use Ruby itself without PHP to do what you want 
the PHP script to do. So it it gives it gives you a broad range of options you can work with. <coughs> so I'm gonna get started here. I'm gonna make another video, but for the overview of what these tutorials are for. We're going to touch on the Linux command line for Debian for the Raspberry Pi or Debian. Uh, we're going to be working with Raspbian. We'll also we'll be showing you some cool stuff with RetroPie and Kodi. Uh, trying to collect my thoughts here. I'm new to this guys so please bear with me. I wish I could have done this directly on my Pi, but I had to come over here and spend most of the day to figure out how to use SS. Well, first I had to figure out how to SSH into it, and my VNC server wasn't wanting to work right, and having to relearn how to work with Windows again, so I'm kind of all over the place at the moment. But just to show you what I'm talking about here. As you can see, I got my SSH up, and I am in the Ruby command line. I reprogrammed my Pi to where, well, not really reprogrammed. I wrote a couple of scripts for my Pi to where it will boot into the Ruby shell over the Bash shell. So I'm still in the Linux command line, but instead of using the Bash shell, I'm using the Ruby shell to you to control the Linux kernel. Excuse me. Here, hopefully you can see that. On the first line, I have the sy system command. Yeah, type VNC server. So I'm going to start that. As you can see, with X system command, with the type VNC server, it through the Ruby shell, I've already started a new X desktop. Oh yeah. Gotta love when you get tongue tied. So now I'm just gonna There it is. So just like working with Bash, we're working you can do the same thing with Python and what's the Perl? I think it's Perl. So if you're interested in coding don't try to learn just one language in one go. Do your research on your language on the language, what it's mostly used for, and then test it out. See how it works for you because everyone's different. Just like we have people who speak English, people who speak French, Korean, Japanese. Programming languages work the same way. Some people can use C++ better than Java and some people are just more inclined to you can just pump out whatever you want can write Java in your sleep so the biggest, biggest thing about getting into programming is finding what works for you and we're going to leave it right there and I'm going to stop this and we'll go right into the next tutorial we'll start the tutorial until then, y'all have a good one.